All right, so I'll show you guys what I've done with the wiring so far. We got the whole motor put together. I have a wire running back to the fuel pump. For some reason, the back half of this car isn't getting power. So, and I haven't figured that out yet. I don't know. We're missing a harness or it's not plugged in somewhere. I, I gotta figure that out. So anyways, I just ran a wire that I can connect to the battery to run the fuel pump. These cars have like a, two fuel pumps like a regular pressure and a high pressure fuel pump from what i've been reading so far and i'm not sure which one i'm even hooked into so anyways for the ecu we are running the stock ecu so this plug right here is the immobilizer there is three wires that run to this little box this little box was under the dash of the Lexus and it runs into this into the ignition so this little black ring around the ignition is the immobilizer it senses when the key is in the ignition that's all you need is the key to be in the ignition so then you have three wires going to it I have a blue and red a green and black and a let's see black and white I think so those three wires coming out of this little box run into this immobilizer plug same color on this plug so you just wire those in and then coming out of this little box there's a black and red that hooks straight to 12 volts it might be switched to 12 volts I'm not sure I have to look back at the uh, at the paper anyways so we ran it to 12 volts and then there is a white and black which on Toyota's is ground so that's running to the ground so the next thing you have is there's this big plug that comes out of the engine harness okay there is three wires on that that have to have 12 volts there's two black and white wires right here okay I can't remember one's for <laughs> Um, your coil power, one's for uh, fuel injector power, and then the other one's for the mass airflow sensor. So you got two white and black ones, and then there's a black and red one that comes out of there. That needs 12 volts. And then the big wire in the middle, that is the trigger wire to your starter. So that's what I'm going to use to touch the battery. Okay, now coming out of this plug, I believe it's like F60 or something like that. There are uh, five wires that need power. They're all over here on the right side. There's a black and yellow, a black and red, and a black and red. Three right on this side. All need 12 volts. And then there is a black and orange and a black and yellow, I believe. Or maybe the F60 is the one. This one right here. So it's these three pins right here, one, two, three. And uh, the next one over, ignition switch, and this is a relay. So if you put all those wires, there's five in this plug, um, three in this big plug that comes out of your engine harness. Put all those to power and get your immobilizer wired up, power ground, the car should start. So we're gonna try that out right now. All right, so I wanted to show you guys a little more of this wiring. If you go on Google and type in 2JZ wiring, uh, this Wilbo 666 will pretty much be the first thing that pops up. And you can pretty much pick whatever ECU you have. Um, this is actually for 2JZ GTE because that's the ECU that I bought to run with this. But... Um, it's pretty much the same as what we have. So these first three plugs, B1, B2, B3, they all come out of the engine harness and plug right into the ECU. The F59, I haven't really looked at this very much. I don't know if maybe, I'm not sure where the um, OBD2 port goes in, but we didn't need that to get this running. The F60 is the one, this one right here. So it's these three pins right here, one, two, three and uh, the next one over ignition switch and this is a relay I put I hooked all those together and ran them straight to the battery and 
And then you got uh, the immobilizer plug, which is cut out on this. Um, there was three wires that go into that. Um, so you can look pretty much this. You can look through everything and it tells you every pin on every plug, what it does, it's an output, it has a description, tells you why it is what it is. So this is a pretty detailed wiring thing. That's what I decided to use. So just for a little more information there, that's how I wired mine up. There's also another plug that comes out of the engine harness and that's the one with the two black and white wires, the black and red, and it has the um, wire going to the starter, the trigger wire. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys that.